We're going over to Wynyard um, Flight School over here with me mate Peter. It's not called that, but this is only a practice thing, and I'm talking shit. And there he is checking the motor, scratching his head. So we're about to go flying with this guy, and he brings this other fellow called Jerry along, who's the safety officer for a film called Scorpion Island, and apparently he's the only one that returned. All the rest of them are still there, lost in sea or something like that. But anyway, here we go. We're up in the air. It's a beautiful sunset. You know, or a sunrise or something like that and have the camera out the window there it's like hurricane gale forces and that's trying out the GoPro there before we get up to speed and take off uh, the plane there that we're flying in that's Pete's plane the light wing and uh, which is a super little plane and we'll be heading off to uh, Mariah Island and that in just a couple of days and this is not Mariah Island this is the lookout at uh, Wynyard and we're flying over there filming this other aircraft called a fox bat and that's not the fox bat here's the fox bat Around the lighthouse, sweep up, and these are some shots that we got for Pete's uh, Flying in Tasmania webpage. And so Peter uh, Reid and I have uh, been flying up down the coast here, shooting some of the coastline, and then I'll use some of these footage for the videos for um, accommodation and stuff like that. So there I am, looking happy, looking even happier. Obviously the drugs have kicked in, and we're up and away and having a good fly. Perfect day, lovely in Tasmania. I don't know who that is filming in the back of the plane. I don't know who got in the back there. There shouldn't have been anyone there. That's a funny little car obviously pretty little flowers around the area Tasmanian's great for flowers there's some good friends beautiful I was beautiful. talking about the chick there obviously and uh, I know I get off track a bit and as you can see I'm off track here again just cruising along somebody's front yard there filming their fence anyway this bloke here so when you're getting around you always see on the back of motorhomes people got their little sayings on the name of their vehicle or some little catchy phrase and on the back of this motorhome, he's got a really nice hand plane little fairy blue wren. This is true blue. Good on him, eh? That's the way to go. And you can see down the back here, they've also got a couple of nice flags, an Australian flag flying at the back. You know, it's a really contradiction, really, to this rough nut blokey sort of a fella over here. He's got a couple of motorbikes on the back, and down the bottom there, we've got the pirate flag flying. A local forester was telling me that within about the last four or five years he was driving a ute along a forestry track and as they came around a the corner there, there was a break in the canopy of trees and there was a beam of sunlight coming down onto the road and uh, a thylacine was laying sunning itself and they stopped and watched it for several minutes uh, at a distance of about uh, a chain, about 20 yards. That's close. That is close, uh, and uh, there were two of them there. They had a camera in the back, but they were so gobsmacked at having seen it. Uh, they watched it for probably 10 or 15, 20 seconds, and it just got up and, and casually walked into the bush, not to be seen again. And of course, now they're kicking themselves that they didn't grab the camera. And M million dollar photo. Million dollar photo. Whereabouts was it? Uh, he wouldn't be too specific, but it was up the north uh, west northwest up towards Woolmorth and all that where they once were common and then they got hunted out for a pound a head. That sort of thing, yep. But certainly in the northern uh, reaches here. Wonderful. Uh, I, I believe uh, I believe this guy. I've heard a lot of people say they've seen them that I didn't believe and uh, you know, I mean they're the same sort of people that see pink elephants usually. <laughs> if somebody's got experience with um, you know, wildlife and mammals and things like sure. that, so they're a little bit more um, they, they, assertive they, in what they're seeing. They, they, these were bushmen, they were foresters, they knew what they were looking at. They, they were the sort of blokes that if a bird flew around they, they would tell you what it was. Uh, they knew the, the local flora and fauna well and they'd lived here all their lives basically. You know, they. And they were not the people that were seeking publicity. In fact, they didn't want their names or their actual location disclosed. Mm. And uh, I, I'm, I'm quite happy to go along with it. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Are you guys witnessed that? I hope they're not even looking. <laughs>
Thank you.